Whenever I think I'm gonna run out of content ideas, my subscribers come to the rescue. Thank you, thank you for this idea. One of the most highly requested videos ever. This video is gonna be about the best double majors to consider when looking at college degrees. All right, so it looks like we got through the intro here. Uh, what am I missing? Um, oh yeah, don't forget to gently tap the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. All right, so number nine on the list is going to be information science. So the way you can think of information science, because I know there's a ton of different technology related degrees out there, is it's kind of like a social science degree like psychology mixed with data science. So basically you just study social behaviors that people have in the real world when they're interacting with technology. That way companies or people can collect data and make decisions on whether they want to change their user interface or all kinds of different things like that. Now I think this one's going to be amazing in the near future and it's already pretty good right now. With an information science degree you're going to start off in the first five years making around $60,000 a year and then mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $94,000. Now on its own that's pretty good but you also see some good combinations when you combine it with other degrees. For instance computer and information science starts off at $59,000 a year and then you're going to have a mid-career pay of $115,000. Information sciences and technology starts off at $60,000 a year and mid-career pay is it's going to be 104,000. And both of these are better than just information science on its own. Number eight on the list is going to be STEM degrees plus something that you're passionate about. So I know that this advice is a little bit generic and kind of just general, but it's a good idea to double major in something that you love and then something that's also practical. And by practical, I mean that it has market value, AKA people are willing to pay you really good money for the skills that you have. The practical degree will help you get your foot in the door and then later on down the line, you can move closer and closer to doing what you actually wanted to do, which would be the one that you're more passionate about. Now, it's not even worth bothering going for something that you absolutely hate. I would never advocate doing that. But doing it this way where you go for one degree that you like, you know, you don't hate it, maybe you're not super passionate about it, but you don't hate it, and then another degree where you're actually really passionate about it is going to be a good combination. This way you can get the best of both worlds. It might not be as good as some of the other combinations that I'm gonna put on this list, but you're gonna be passionate about it and it's also going to be practical. Number seven on the list is going to be information systems. Now again, I know it's easy to get all these technology degrees mixed up and there's actually many different forms of information systems. You've got computer information systems, management information systems, for instance. Pretty much all of the information systems degrees are pretty good. Management information systems or MIS tends to have more of a focus on business, whereas computer information systems has a little bit more of a focus on the day-to-day -day tech technology aspect of a business. But all of these types of degrees have an emphasis on the organization's information systems, whether that be the technology side of things or the business side of things. Now having these types of skills is amazing because just about any industry, any business out there needs people who are good at this. Now for instance, management information systems, you're gonna start off making $60,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be around 105,000. This is a really good one, but you see a lot of other either double majors or dual degrees that are very similar, but they they actually even pay better. So for instance, operations and information systems management starts off at $61,800 a year and ends up at $116,000 a year in mid-career pay. And there are a ton of other examples of degrees like that. Operations management and information systems, management information systems, information systems management, computer management information systems. I think you get the idea here. All of these are very, very solid. Now, I've talked about this a lot on the channel. It doesn't take a genius to know this, but we're going into the age of automation where technology is basically taking over every industry out there. Having skills in technology is going to help you just about no matter what you end up doing in life. Every industry needs it, every business needs it, there's careers out there that don't even exist yet that are going to need these skills that you're going to learn. It doesn't take a genius to work out that these skills are very, very good. Number six on the list is going to be economics. Now this is another one that I really like. Economics, probably the best uh, liberal arts type degree on the list. This one is great and it'll help you no matter what you end up doing in life. The economy is the lifeblood of a country and if you don't understand basic economics, you're just gonna have a bad time. Things like supply and demand, the fact that money doesn't grow on trees. It should be mandatory for everyone in society to understand these basics of economics. In fact, if everyone understood economics, this channel probably wouldn't be anywhere near as popular because I wouldn't have to make the video about useless degrees. 
Now, when I did the video on the degrees that create the most millionaires, economics came in as number three. And there's a reason for that. Not only can you get a lot of jobs in this major, it might be a little difficult to get your first job, but after that, you're gonna be good to go. But on top of that, it's gonna be a great one to set you up to start your own business in the future. Now, with an economics degree on its own, you're gonna start off making $56,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be 107,000. Now, that's great on its own, but it also makes a great combination with a ton of other degrees. For instance, economics and mathematics combined you're going to start off making $64,000 a year. Mid-career pay is going to be $127,000. Accounting and economics, you're going to start off making $59,000 a year. Mid-career pay is going to be $116,000. Business and economics, you're going to start off making $55,000 a year. And mid-career pay is going to be $110,000. There's also a lot of dual degrees that go really well together, such as quantitative economics or international economics. I think you get the idea here. Economics is one of those degrees that just pairs really well with a ton of other ones. Number five, on the list is going to be information technology. This is the third one on the list that has the word information in it. You might be noticing a pattern here. <laughs> now this one might come as a surprise to a lot of people. Information technology, aka the IT people, are the ones who basically set up different technology and then maintain it within a business. Now this is a pretty good one on its own, but combining this one with other degrees, in my opinion, makes it even more valuable. Information technology on its own is going to start off making $55,000 a year and then mid-career pay is going to be 92,000. Now that's not bad on its own, but if you combine it with a business degree, for instance, it's even better. Business and information technology combined together is going to start off at $58,000 a year, and then mid-career pay is going to be 105,000. Now I can tell you guys that I am so grateful that I have a friend who has an IT degree because he's helped me out with all kinds of different technology related stuff. Business owners need people who are good with technology. We're entering into an age where if you don't embrace technology as a business, business owner, you're just going to be extinct pretty much. I'm not bad with technology myself, but some of the stuff I've had to set up and figure out, it's just taken me like sometimes 10, 20, 30 hours to figure it out on my own. And it's so much nicer to just have someone who is an expert at it and they can figure it out in like an hour. These guys are absolutely invaluable to a business. And if you combine it with another degree, it's just going to be golden. It's going to be great. Number four on the list is going to be mathematics. Now I've talked about this one before. It has the issue of being a little bit too general a little bit too abstract on its own sometimes. Not that you can't make it work, you can still make it work, absolutely. But it might be a little bit hard for you to land your first job just because of the fact that you might have a bit of a tough time convincing business owners and hiring managers how you can use those abstract skills in order to actually help their business. Now on its own, it's not too bad. You're gonna start off making around $57,500 a year. Mid-career pay is gonna be just over 102,000. Still, this one is killer if you combine it with something else. For instance, economics and mathematics makes a really great combination. You're going to start off making $64,000 a year and mid-career pay is going to be around $127,000. Computer science and mathematics is another really good combination. You'll start off making $65,000 a year and mid-career pay is going to be around $116,000. There's a ton of different dual degrees or double majors out there that are great, such as applied mathematics, physics and mathematics, mathematics and statistics. I think you see the idea here. All of them, mid-career pay is going to be over $100,000 a year. Now the next one on the list, number three, is very similar to mathematics, but it's a little bit easier to apply it to the real world in my opinion, and that's going to be statistics. Now just on its own, you're going to start off making $62,300 a year with a statistics degree, and mid-career pay is going to be $113,000. That's pretty good just off right off the bat. A statistics degree combined with a mathematics degree is good as well. You're going to start off making $58,000 a year, and mid-career pay is going to be $106,000. You'll notice with a lot of these math degrees, statistics degrees, as well as economics degrees, that the starting pay is relatively low just because of the fact that a lot of business owners don't see exactly how you're going to help their business make money. However, once you've got some actual real life experience under your belt and you can show them how you're going to help their business, these ones go up tremendously. It's almost double the amount that you start with. And that's why, in my opinion, the most important thing you can do with a lot of these degrees is get work experience while you're still in school. Most of the time when you graduate, people don't even look at your grades. They don't care. They care so much more about things like work experience or projects or skills that you have. Number two on the list is going to be computer science. All right, like I said in another video, the meme is over. I'm not going to put computer science as number one anymore, okay? I'm done. But no, computer science is a really good one for you to double major in. Now, I will say that out of the ones on this list, it's probably going to be one of the tougher ones to double major in just because computer science on its own is pretty difficult, especially if you go in not having any coding experience right off the 
the bat, it's going to be a huge learning curve. So if you're one of those people that comment on my videos saying they want to uh, triple major in computer science, physics, and engineering, hey, if you're a genius, maybe you can do that. But for the average person out there, I know there's no way I would be able to do that in four years. There's not a chance. But like I said before, a lot of these technology related skills are some of the most valuable ones that you can learn. Technology, coding, it's taking over pretty much any industry out there, pretty much any business out there. There's a lot of businesses and careers that don't even exist yet that are going to have a foundation in technology. So you can basically prepare yourself for the future for careers that don't even exist. And in this way, you can basically future proof yourself. Now, computer science on its own makes around $68,000 a year starting out and mid-career pay is going to be $114,000. But just look at this combination, for instance. This one is nasty. Electrical engineering and computer science combination starts off making $88,000 a year. Mid-career pay is $142,000. Now, again, if you wanted to double major in those, like that's going to be tough to do in four years. You pretty much have to be a genius or just an absolute machine. But if you can do it, that is a sick combo. But that's not all there are a ton of other options. For instance, computer science and engineering comes in at $72,000 a year starting out and mid-career pay is $122,000. Now, I'm not gonna read all of these off to you, but basically you've got information in computer science, computer science and mathematics, computer science and physics, business computer science, computer science and information technology. The list just goes on and on. Computer science combines with just about any degree out there. And even if you don't double major in computer science or maybe even if you don't minor in this one, it's a good idea to get some basic coding skills. I'm not going for any type of coding job at all, but I'm teaching myself Python right now just because I think it's so useful just to do all kinds of different things in the future. There's a project that I'm thinking about doing on this YouTube channel that involves Python. Now I still suck at it, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but it would be really cool if I could do some kind of project that involves coding. I talk to you guys all the time about how computer science is so important, and so I'd like to be able to integrate that into the channel. Number one on this list of good double majors is going to be the most flexible, the most general, but in a good way, type of degree out there, which is going to be business degrees. In my opinion, these are some of the best dual degrees and double majors out there that you can get from a personal finance perspective. Now, there's many different reasons for this. I'm not gonna get into all of them in this video. When I did the video on the degrees that create the most millionaires, it was basically full of business degrees. I think either six out of 10 or seven out of 10 of the degrees on the list were business related. And it teaches you to think like a business owner, like a hiring manager, and eventually sometimes it'll teach you to think like an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. You know, if you just have a graphic design degree on its own, for instance, how are you going to convince a business owner or a hiring manager that you're going to be able to justify like a 40 or $50,000 salary? But if you have a graphic design degree combined with a management information systems degree or some type of other business degree, it's going to be a lot easier for you to convince them. Now, these degrees can combine with just about any other type of major and they're going to make it look a lot better. It's extremely flexible as well. Let's say you go into a career, you thought you wanted to go into to it, but you find out later on you don't want to have anything to do with it, you absolutely hate it, and you want to leave. Guess what? Every company and every industry hires people who have business majors. So this is another really great way, along with technology-related careers, for you to future-proof yourself. Businesses are never gonna go away. People who have business skills, such as marketing, sales, uh, leadership, management, etc., these skills are never gonna go away either. Doesn't matter how far technology progresses, it doesn't matter how much automation happens, businesses are still going to need people that make decisions when it comes to what the company should do. Now, business degrees teach the types of skills that simply can't be replaced by automation. Now, there's a ton of different types of business degrees out there, of course. For instance, you've got finance degrees where you're gonna start off making $55,000 a year and end up making 98,000 in mid-career pay. But guess what? You combine finance with economics and it's even better. You're gonna start off making $59,000 a year and there's gonna be $107,000 in mid-career pay. You can get an accounting degree on its own, which is still pretty good that's gonna start off making $51,000 a year and end up making $88,000. Or you can combine accounting with finance, which is gonna start off making $55,000 a year and mid-career pay will be $94,000. I think you get the idea here. I could go down the list just about every business-related degree and you're gonna to see tons of different combinations. There are a few bad things about business-related careers. Sometimes they're a little bit too easy. Sometimes they're a little bit too general. Sometimes they don't focus on giving you real-world experience. They teach you the theoretical aspects of business, but not the real world part. And that's why I always
always say that you should be focused on networking, learning skills, doing projects, and all that sort of thing while you're in college. All right, guys, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And before you go, make sure to check out my videos right here. I made them just for you.